Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I'm Graham's sister, for those who may not know me. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video because sadly I'm not able to be there. I live in Switzerland at the moment, and with my work it's just not possible to come. But um, I want to share a few of things that, yeah, just how Graham affected me in life and um, some qualities of his that I think are amazing as well as some funny stories. So I think, you know, it was really hard to pick a funny story because there's so many and I tell them all the time, but, um, and I'll continue to tell them so you can always ask me, but one that just kept coming to my mind um, which is again just a testimony of how surrendered Graham was to the Holy Spirit and how much he loved Jesus and how God um, really showed his heart through Graham, which to me was just so beautiful. I didn't really understand it as much as a kid growing up, but now that I'm older, I just see it so clearly and it's so beautiful and I'm so grateful that I had him as a brother. and. Um, yeah, one of the stories that I always think is really funny, um, for those of you who know Graham, he moves pretty slow. Um, it takes something that really excites him for him to move a little bit faster. Um, and a lot of times when we would go to church, and if we'd showed up, say, a couple minutes late and they already started worship, if you could hear worship from outside the building, Graham would be out of the car and running as fast as he can to the building. We'd always be like, quick, get Graham, he's about to book for it. And it's just like, he would move out to to go to worship. Like he he heard the everyone singing glorious songs to God and it's just like, he had that heart of like, I have to be there now and he'd run. And to me, that's just so beautiful. And I see the Father's heart on it that he wants us all to be like that, to be like children who just want to run to him and praise him. Um, the other thing that, you know, Graham showed a lot throughout his whole life. Um, I'm his younger sister, so uh, in many ways, I was kind of like an older sister because I helped teach him a lot of things and I was his buddy. But um, now that I'm older, I see so much more of what he taught me uh, without me even knowing it. But um, Graham had really a servant's heart. That's something I feel like he had his whole life. It was a gift that God gave him and it just really reflects Jesus. I mean, Graham, he would be the first to help you as soon as you ask and even when you didn't ask he would want to help for instance with things like helping people into their cars he would really want to help you get in and close the door for you you know people would be like yeah of course it's so sweet we you know we'd run up and be like oh i'm sorry he wants to just help you get in your car but it's okay he doesn't understand they're like no no let him help and then we'd be like okay, make sure all your legs and arms are inside the car because we know he looks skinny, but he's quite strong. It's it's going to shut very hard and if anything's sticking out, you're going to lose it. <laughs> um, so we always knew when Graham closed the door because that door was shut and the car was, um, we know if the car was good because the car was still there, you know, parts weren't breaking off. So, um, yeah. That's one of the ways he helped. He always helped when we said, okay, we're gonna go to soccer. Graham would go and get my soccer shoes and have them ready for me by the front door and with my water bottle. Um, if we said we're going to church, Graham would go and he'd, he'd go get his jacket and he'd go, go and already beat us to the car. Like Graham was always the first out to the car and he'd be waiting for us. Um, another way he'd help is when people would be tying my shoes. Graham would come and help. That was always one of my favorites because he really thought he was helping you and he'd just pull on the lace as hard as he can. <laughs> that was helping you tie your shoes. Um, no, but his, his heart with helping was always there even when um, it didn't help, but it taught me patience and as well to, to see that someone like Graham was so excited to help and so happy when he could help. And um, yeah,
yeah, something as a kid that he'd help me do. I had the chores of folding the laundry. And I'd ask, Graham, you want to help me fold the laundry? And he'd come, he'd sit by the basket, and I'd ask him to hand me the, the pieces of clothes. And he would hand me one at a time the pieces of clothes. And he'd always try to find the socks. I don't know why it was a thing with him and socks. But he would find the sock and hand me one sock. And I'm like, okay, great, Graham. I'd put it in my lap because I knew the matching sock was not going to come anytime soon. It would come maybe five other socks, but not the matching one. And that was okay. Um, it made me laugh, and Graham had no idea, but <laughs> it was funny to me. Um, yeah, Graham's servant heart. He also was a very, very compassionate um, person from a child all the way up. You know, I rarely ever saw Graham cry because he was in pain. Um, the only ever times that I saw him cry were one of two reasons. It was either because someone else was hurting and in pain and they were crying. That would make Graham cry. He would come to that person and make sure they're okay and he'd want to he'd want to pray with them, which I thought was beautiful because we didn't really teach him that. Um, that was just something that he he always wanted to do if someone was hurt or or if he knew that he did something wrong, his first thing that he wanted to do was pray. And I believe we can all take a lesson from that because the first thing he did was turn to the Father for help um, without even knowing, or we don't know what he knows, but he has the mind of like a two to seven year old depending on what subject. And um, yeah, that was really beautiful to see. And. Um, Whew, I've practiced this, so I'm trying not to cry, but um, he was just a very compassionate um, person. And um, the other subject, the other thing that he would cry about was you could make him laugh so hard that he would start crying. <laughs> and it was just, it was so funny. He had pure joy. He really carried the joy of the Lord. He would be the first to give people high fives. He doesn't know who you are. You'd ask for a high five. He'd give you a high five. I remember we'd be at soccer matches and as well his encouraging heart. Um, we'd be at soccer matches and my team would score a goal. Everyone would cheer and Graham would be like, woohoo, yeah. And then the other team would score a goal against us and he'd hear clapping. And Graham would just start clapping, you know, because, hey, someone else has scored a couple more of these. I get to go home, watch my show. I'm sure that's what was going through his head. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just Graham really brought a lot of joy to our lives. And he taught us a lot of the Father's heart and how the Holy Spirit moves. And seeing someone like Graham being used and how obedient he was. It just shows you how God can use anyone, you know, he can take anyone and anything that maybe the world deems broken and use it for something beautiful. And I know that everyone here who's at this um, celebration of life for Graham was at some level affected by him. I don't know with what, but um, yeah, I hope these, these stories kind of give a little more insight into who he was. As a brother for me and how much he taught me and um, I just hope everyone is is you know as much as it sucks to that he's gone from earth we're very happy that he's with the Lord and in perfect um, peace and health and joy and we're excited to see him again and um, yeah that's that's what I had to share about my brother Graham thank you guys for coming